Morning, welcome to the channel. So, uh, these two weeks I was going to basically put together the um, British forces for um, Franco-Prussian War uh, alongside my uh, uh, Prussians and my French already. So, I've got two weeks off at the minute. Okay, well, off, kind of doing a bit of work as well. But I thought I'd put together the British, paint them all up, and then I'll have a third force for Franco-Prussian War. So over the last few days, I've been assembling the Perry British. Okay. Now, I didn't really enjoy it very much, to be honest. It got a little bit boring. They're a bit, a bit a little bit of single pose. Um, they don't seem to do very much. And I got bored after one box. So I kind of put those guys to the side one uh, at the moment. And I thought what I'd do is I'd go back to my Landschnecks. Now, I painted about half a box of uh, the Warlord Landschnecks um, a few months ago. Mostly because uh, Steve Ross was getting into it, so I blame Steve. Um, but I really fancied painting up some really colourful units. And I was kind of flirting with um, Italian wars at the time. And I uh, really liked, um, I think it was oh, Ken, Ken Riley's Italian wars. Um, figures I thought they were fantastic so I started painting up some lunch next now I have shown these guys on the channel before so I did some black band some men of the black band and um, a few regular um, pipe men okay so a few pipe men and at the back here we've got some uh, some Zweihanders as well so I just really went for it with the colours I thought I'm not gonna maybe dull anything down probably not even gonna add any shading or anything like that make them just so colourful that they really stand out on the battlefield so reality is probably not what I was looking for with the lunch next but what I did then I did start by putting them on um, single 40 by 40 mil bases um, and since then, though, my kind of whole perspective on basing has changed. So, as usual, as with pretty much everything else that I've got at the moment, I put them on the big red bat bases. <laughs> okay, so that's what I've been doing the last couple of days. I've been basically rebasing my lanchnecks onto big red bat bases, and this obviously allows them to all slot together into quite large units. So they should look really nice on the battlefield in their ranks and their rows and a slightly smaller big red back base there for um, the command unit so put the commander and his drummer on there I need to put a flag on him okay these are the obviously the black band guys okay so yeah so converting all my lunch necks onto big red back bases but obviously don't have enough um, and I'm only about halfway through maybe two thirds of the way through the Warlord starter box. I don't know any missile troops yet. These are guys that I've got. I've still got to paint up. Here's some handgunners. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add to them this week and next week and try and get it finished as well. So on the painting table today, we've got the next lot of um, lunch next to go along with the big red bat stuff, along with the the guys on the big red bat bases. So. What I thought I'd do next is I'm going to paint a rotten. Now, rotten was the German word for a platoon, or it was that was what they called their uh, their platoons. Okay, a rotten. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do a standard base of uh, uh, for um, pike and shot. Okay, um, so that's going to have 16 figures on it. It's going to be two big rat big red bat bases side by side so single uh, standard unit and I'm going to do it in uh, as a single rotten now because I'm doing it as a rotten I'm not going to paint them in loads of random colours I'm probably just going to pick three or four colours maybe only three colours um, from the glorious uh, colourful paints that you use for Lanchinex and stick to those three colours so they've got kind of a uniform look now I know that kind of almost goes against the whole ethos of the Lanchnecks, but I would, you know, I have seen pictures of um, people who dress in modern dress in different uniforms with the same colours, and it does look quite nice that kind of uh, uniformity. Um, but I, my calculation is that if you're a part of a platoon or a company, you would have some kind of similar features 
alongside. So you probably all wear different clothing, that's fine. But you would probably share the same colours. So you might have a pair of uh, pantaloons uh, of one colour and your friend might have a shirt of the same colour. Just to kind of identify you within the rotten. I'm also going to do um, three more command bases. So I've decided that I'm going to have, these are all from uh, Warlord of course. Um, I'm going to have a commander with a standard bearer and a, a drummer on those command bases and they're basically going to be the smaller um, big red bat bases so they've got the big ones big the big and big red bat bases for the uh for the troops okay i'll just throw a couple on there i've got a couple of spare um a couple of spare pike blocks that I haven't put on yet so I'm going to basically stick these side by side not obviously these guys because one's black band the other one's regular lounge decks so yeah sticking them side by side and then just surround it with flock and some nice stuff on there so I'm putting those on the large bases and then the command will go onto the slightly smaller bases but the good thing about a small base is it slots it into the large base so I can put a command unit in the center of a pipe block Okay, so stick three guys on there, and you've got your you've got your command. Okay, so I'm going to assemble three of those and a rotten at least, so sixteen men in a rotten. Uh, hopefully by probably by the start of next week, and I'm going to try and get these lunch next done. I haven't got a huge amount left in terms of the ones that I've assembled, so that's not going to take too long. Hopefully. Um, but what I do need to get done is a few more uh, gunners and probably some uh, some crossbowmen as well. So I've got a couple more, I've got probably four of these uh, four of these sprues of gunners, and I'm going to do probably a few more gunners, but then add some crossbowmen as well. So I've got quite a nice mix of troops. So that is where I'm kind of going at the moment. So leaving. Franco-Prussian War alone for a couple of weeks. I'm not going to carry on with the British. Really didn't. They were a bit dull, really, <laughs> to uh, assemble. They'd probably be fun to paint because I do like the uniforms and the red and the very dark blue. Um, but yeah, back to the lunch next. Back to a little bit of fun for a couple of weeks. Although having said that, I've got quite a lot of work to do as well in terms of the uh, in terms of my my, my job. But uh, hey, modelling comes first, doesn't it? Right, this is why we do it. Okay, so hope you uh, enjoyed that little uh, foray into the way I'm thinking at the moment. So, two week project, finish off the lunch next, get them done, and then probably for two weeks after that, I'm just going to basically, you know, tidy up my um, Wars of the Roses, ready for CrackCon, start boxing them up, start getting them all ready to transport to CrackCon 2, uh, which is coming up pretty quickly now. I think after this week, it's only maybe three weeks away something like that okay right thanks for watching guys i enjoyed just you know a little bit of an insight into my basing woes well not woes i'm really enjoying doing this um and uh where my brain is at the moment in terms of uh carrying on with an old project this was an old project that i abandoned well i didn't abandon it i kind of i don't know got distracted by other projects unfortunately but i do love the lunch next so I'm going to finish these guys off. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Enjoy yourselves and look after yourselves. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.